Nigeria, a nation of 160 million people, the most populous black nation and ninth in the world. In less than a decade, about 40 million youths would be in dire need of employment. The government can definitely not meet this need. Worse still, technology is rapidly and efficiently replacing humans in the workplace. This is an emergency. Frontiers Consulting, in partnership with Dar Communications, presents Own Your Own with Muiwa Afolabi. Learn to start, grow, manage, and profit from your own business in Nigeria. It is time to create wealth in Nigeria, for Nigeria, and by Nigerians. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Muiwa Afolabi. Welcome to Transformation. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of Own Your Own. This is your business management talk show, sharing with you how to start, how to grow, how to manage and profit from your business. My name is Muiwa Afolabi. Welcome to Transformation. I have a very exciting question to ask viewers today. What is a market? What is your market? A lot of people have shared uh, proposals with me and they've shared a lot of plans in business and they have discussed with me thoroughly on how they believe there is a market for their product or their service and I ask them how do they know that and they begin to talk about the numbers. They begin to share with me numbers and population, the number of people living in a particular city, the number of people living in a particular state and the number of the Nigerian nation and we can tell you we are 170 million people hence there's a market for whatever it is that they have to offer or they have to sell but the truth is the market is not like that there are quite a number of definitions for the market i've heard definitions in time past which is not absolutely out of place but it's more advanced than that now i've heard the market been defined as a place where buyers and sellers meet to exchange goods and services for value a place, a location, where buyers and sellers meet to exchange goods and services for value. I've heard some other definition of market as a convergence of the forces of demand and supply. But looking at it from the perspective of starting, growing, managing and profiting from a business, it's been defined severally that the market are the people that can buy your product. But I want to drive this definition further so as for you to be able to understand and effectively articulate the size, the power, and the potential of your market. So many people come with products and they say to me, in this location, there are 20,000 people, there are 30,000 people, hence, they'll be able to sell this quantity or that quantity doesn't work like that. In truth, your market is the number of people that are able and willing to buy your product at a particular time within a particular location. I'll share that again. The number of people that are able and are willing to buy your product at a particular time and in a particular location. Now, there are so many factors that determine your market. Number one, the number of people that are able. Ability is about affordability. You can have a product, right, and put it in the market for people to buy. But if they cannot afford it, no matter how much they appreciate and admire it because they don't have what it takes to buy it, they will never buy it. So you don't call, you don't, you don't number such people amongst your target market because they don't have what it takes to buy from you. Number two, they have to be willing. The will must be there. So being able to afford your product is not enough. I must be willing also to want to buy this product. So the will has to be there as well. Ability and the will. It also has to do with time. Is it a season when people are willing to buy the product? Are you in time? Are you in season when people are willing to buy the product? And lastly, apart from the season, the place, the location where your business is, are there enough people there to buy your product? So when you are analyzing the market, you just don't analyze the market or your potential target by the number of people in a particular settlement, in a particular location, in a particular city, or in a particular town. No, you use those factors to judge. And how do you know market research? market intelligence. You must always begin with the king. 
you must always start with the consumer. You need to talk to them, you need to engage them and find out, if I bring this product to the market, if I bring this service to the market, would you want to buy it? If they say yes, the next question is, how much are you willing or would you be willing to pay for it? You need to get that answer for a number of them for you to be sure how you should price that particular product. Then also, you need to look at the area where you're targeting because your route to market strategy is critical. It is costly to distribute a product. It is also costly to make a service available. So you look at the territory and look at the cost of distribution. That's your route to market strategy. And most importantly, you look at the season as well. Is it a season when people have a lot of disposable income? There are trends in the economy. There are times when the economy picks up and there are times when it's a downward trend. You must understand the time and the season and be able to be sure if people at that time will be willing to buy your product. So when you come up with a good product, you come up with a good service, it's not just about the fact that you think it's gonna sell. You need to do your analysis very well. You need to research your market very well. You need to understand your market very well. You must check the ability of your target to afford it. You must check the ability of your market to want it. You must also check the location, how easy it is for you to move your product or service to this willing buyers. And lastly, you must check the season. It's possible for someone or for a particular market to be able to afford a car at a point in time. And at some other times, it's difficult because of the state of the economy. So each time you're analyzing your market, you must analyze it looking at these four critical factors. Your market is not just a location where buyers and sellers meet to exchange service and products for value. Your market is not just the convergence of the forces of demand and supply. Your market is about the number of people that are able and are willing to buy from you in a particular location and at a particular time. So go back, sit down, look at your product, take a good look at it, take it out there and do a research. Find out, are they willing? Would they be one, uh, how much would they be willing to pay for it? Check the times, check the seasons, carry out your research. That's how you know your market. At times, you just discover that the market is too small for you to spend so much money and incur so much cost selling that particular product. And at times, you just realize that the market is just ripe and good enough for you to put your product into the market. I hope by what I've shared with you, you will have a clear understanding of your true market size and your true market potential. For questions, for counseling and advice, the address is displayed on your screen. You can tweet at me, my handle is on your screen. You can reach me on Facebook and you can call the numbers displayed on the screen. You can also send me text messages on the same numbers. I'm willing to be available to share with you and counsel you and guide you on how to succeed in business. It is important to own your own, to start, to grow, to manage and profit from your business. I remain Muiwa Afolabi. Till I come your way again, same time, same station, next time for another exciting episode, please take charge of your business. Have a great day.